Howdy gamers, let's talk about the animation cancels for Nautilus. There's nothing too insanely wild. It's obviously you're not playing Riven, but there are things to talk about. So defaultly, whenever you throw your hook on Nautilus, it's going to channel the auto attack after you do so. So anytime that you would want to cancel that for a particular reason, you would hook and then be clicking past immediately. Now, a good way to do this as well, if you're trying to hold the snare, you're usually trying to just stay on top of the target. Um, because he's either CC'd in another way or you're just not trying to spin it at that particular moment. So you would hook E and then move past them. And that leads us into the next thing. Anytime you're in the hook animation, which you're being pulled to the target that you hit or a wall that you hit, right? Anytime you're in the pull animation, you can cast any other ability. Um, the most common two being the E or the W. And you could also do it with the ult. It's the same thing. So you can cast literally every single ability while you're in that pull animation. So you need to factor this in and sometimes whenever you're using the combo as you're trying to deal maximum damage. Um, but anytime if you're gonna, the most obvious one if you're trying to land the ult and then the hook, it's anti-synergistic as you waste both forms of CC. Um, you can even waste all three forms of your CC in the hook, passive, and then the ult if you spend them all like this because just knocked up you've wasted the hook cc duration the auto attack duration and then the ult duration well the ult duration isn't really wasted but regardless anyways into the auto into the animations whenever you auto attack you can reset it with a w by casting it right after your auto attack initially finishes and you're most commonly want to when you most commonly want to use this whenever you land a hook so you hook auto w you really need to get that down, as it maximizes your DPS right out of the hook. So the full combo would be hook, auto, W, move past the little E, auto. That's the like cut and dry basic, that's what you do every single time on Nautilus. Very few instances in which you wouldn't do that. And then the other animation being whenever you hook again, you can cast the E. And then this is going to let you deal that damage right before you land. This would be if you're trying to burst the target. So if you're trying to burst someone, it'd be hook E, auto W, and then you land the ult on them. Obviously dropped an ignite as well. And honestly, that's about it. That's really the only things you have to worry about with Nautilus. The complexity comes in when you spin them and when you don't. Because the different situations... I just can't get into it in a video. I'd have to like have a gameplay commentary with Nautilus because there's just different instances in which you hold the W, the E, or the ult, or your passive because your passive is just way, way, way important. It's like a Braum passive where you really have to be like paying attention to when you spend your initial auto attack or not. So that's Nautilus. Really nothing too complex about him. But you know, figure most people want to know like when to do the animations. Now. All right, goodbye. If this video helped you leave a like, that's it. Played Nautilus every now and then, but he's had his time. Hope he's nerfed him to the ground. Season 10. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye.